Hello, welcome to this channel Gain Java Knowledge and today in this video we are going to learn how to create a Spring Boot application that sends OTP via mobile. So these are the steps that we are going to implement this project. So first I will initialize a Spring Boot project. So let me search here start.spring.io and here I have selected project maven and language java and version I am using spring boot 3.4.2 and here I have defined the artifact name send hyphen otp and here I have select packaging type jar and java version 17 and here I have added three dependencies first is spring web and second is java mail and third we need to add twilio api maven dependency so let me generate here i have imported this project send otp and this is the main class send otp application and i have also created two packages inside this one is controller package and second is service package inside controller i have created controller class that is otp controller and inside this otp controller i have defined three endpoints so this is my controller class and its request mapping path is otp and here inside this class i have autoid and injected otp service class and email service and sms service so here i have created different type of services so so first i will implement uh, send otp sms how we can send otp via mobile and here i am just calling generate otp method and after generating we will get otp and then we will send this otp to another user phone and after getting this otp we can call this api to verify the otp so first i will call this one if i will go through this service layer this is generate otp and if i will go to generate otp so here we can see it is just generating one random number and storing into this map and again returning back to our generate otp function so this function is just generating one random number and returning back to our service layer so let me go back to otp controller so after getting otp i will just send this otp so this is a function that i am using to send otp to mobile so inside this function first we are calling twilio.init because here we are using twilio library to initialize our service and here we are passing its credential that is account sid and auth token that we will get once we will create our twilio account it's easy to create a twilio account so let me go to browser so here we just can type twilio login and from here we can select video communication api for sms and here we can just click start for free start for free and here we need to do sign up so here we need to enter our first name last name email address and password so after entering our all details it will just create one twilio account for us so once our account will be ready we will get its sid and oath i have already created account so i will just sign up with google so it will just land up on twilio console so like this you can view twilio console and from here you can just click on get a number and it will generate number for you and from here you will get its account sid that we need to copy from here uh, that will be used while sending otp these are the credentials of twilio api that we need to use 
and we also need to copy its auth token from here and also twilio number so let me go back to our application.properties file so here we need to do the configuration for twilio so here i will just copy paste its twilio account sid that we will get from our twilio account and here we need to set its auth token value and here we need to set the twilio number so i have completed the twilio configuration in our application.properties file so let me call this send sms endpoint so this sms will generate the otp and will send to our mobile so inside this function we can see it is a phone number on which we want to send the otp and from which number we want to send this is our twilio phone number generated by twilio so once otp will be generated successfully we will get this message so let me call this endpoint so i will for now i am just passing our mobile number as a request param that is optional so here i am passing phone but i have not started my application so let me go back to intellij and start the application so here i have defined server dot port number is 9090 so here we can see our application has started on port number 9090 so let me call and check if we are receiving otp or not so let me go back to postman so let me call this api from this number on this number i will receive otp so here we can see otp sent to your phone please check your phone number so let me check i have received otp on my mobile phone so let me verify if it is valid otp or invalid so let me create its duplicate Eight three two nine double five five that I have received on my phone. So here we need to change its port number nine zero nine zero. Let me call this API again. So it is invalid OTP. Uh, so I have checked. I have received another OTP and let me call this endpoint again to verify its valid or invalid OTP. so it's saying invalid otp here we also need to change the key in place of key we need to pass the value we are using via mobile so here we need to put our mobile phone and in otp we need to pass the otp that we have received on mobile so here we are getting response otp valid successfully so if i go through this rest endpoint so here we are just calling otp service validated otp function and here we are passing key as our mobile phone and otp that we have received on phone if you are getting true then we are sending message otp valid successfully otherwise we are getting invalid otp so here we are just checking otp dot equals method and otp storage that we have created one map above so while we are generating otp we are saving our otp inside this map that is otp storage and using put function to insert key and its otp and during verification we are just calling otp storage that is our map so we are just using in memory and just calling get or default function and if we are getting or validating then it's returning true otherwise we are getting false and invalid otp so we can use twilio library to generate or send the otp to mobile phones okay thanks for watching this video